Hello and welcome again. I bring greetings to you from the light of Zion and I'm glad you are able to join me again for this enlightening Bible discussions. Yes, the light of Zion will keep on shining to guide our way, to show, to guide our path on the way to return back to our homeland, our father's land that he promised to our ancestors. So the light of Zion will continue to shine light to show us the way to return back to our God. Uh, for you that is awakened, for you that is, has been listening and following uh, the messages and the lessons that we've been bringing out through this channel, I hope it is educating to you and I hope that it is enlightening and quickening something in you uh, to let you know that you are beloved, that yes, your God loves you so much. So I hope you are benefiting by listening and visiting this channel every now and then. Again, our, web, our website is https colon forward slash forward slash the light of Zion dot com. There you will find interesting materials that, be, that has been prepared to help you to get to know your God, get to understand what your God is doing, get to know how you can be among the ones favored, favored to receive the mercy of our God at the appointed time. So that website is for you to follow along uh, with the rest of the other people that are awakened and who are searching and seeking for return back to Zion. Today I'm coming to you with an interesting presentation and this is titled Behold the Lamb of God. Yes, behold the Lamb of God. And through this lesson we want to know why was the title the Lamb of God given? Why was the title the Lamb of God given to the Son of God, our Messiah? So follow along with me as we discuss these things, as we research these things out from the scriptures. <clears throat> <clears throat> so why was the title the Lamb of God ascribed to the Messiah? Follow along and see what is written in the book of John. Chapter 1, verse 35 to 36. There it is written, Again the next day, John the Baptist was standing with two of his disciples, and as he looked at Yahushua, who was translated to be Jesus Christ, as he looked at Yahushua, he said, See the Lamb of God. Yes, he pointed out to Yahushua and said, See the Lamb of God. So yes, John the Baptist identified Yahushua as the, the Messiah, as the Lamb of God. And we want to know why he gave, why that Lamb suit or feast Yahushua the Messiah. <coughs> So to understand why you should recall an incident that 
happened in the past between Yahuwah our God and our ancestor Abraham. Yahuwah asked, asked Abraham to sacrifice the life of Isaac to him, to offer up Isaac as a sacrifice to him. Abraham obeyed, but while he was in the process of sacrificing to sacrifice Isaac, Yahuwah spared, Yahuwah spared the life of Isaac by providing a sacrificial lamb in, in exchange for the life of Isaac. So that lamb that was sacrificed in behalf of, in exchange for the life of Isaac became the sacrificial lamb, the lamb that God provided in order to pass over the life of Isaac. A chosen one. So that is where the title the Lamb of God is because in that place uh, Abraham called um, Yahuwah, Yahuwah Jireh. That means that Yahuwah will provide. So Yahuwah provided a lamb that we that was in exchange for the life of Isaac that was supposed to be sacrificed. Again, follow along as we discuss another incident. <clears throat> as we look at what is written in the let's follow look at what is was written in the book of Genesis chapter twenty two verse twelve and thirteen. There is written, then he said do not harm the boy and do not do anything at all to him for now i know that you are a god fearing you are god fearing because you have not withheld your son you are only one from me at that abraham looked up and there and there just be, be, beyond beyond him was a ram caught by his horn in a ticket. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. So yes, the Lamb of God is a symbol of a thing or a person or persons that Yahuwah provided as a, sacri as a sacrifice to pass over or in exchange for the life of his chosen one. Remember, Abraham was chosen by God. Isaac was also the son of Abraham. So, Yahuwah decided to pass over the life of Abraham, I mean, the life of Isaac. So he provided a sacrificial lamb in exchange for the life of Isaac. That is how the title, the Lamb of God, was became a symbol known to the Israelites because Yahuwah will provide a lamb just as he did in the, with the case of Abraham in order to pass over Isaac. <clears throat> Another incident that we can look at is this concerning the Lamb of God. In the book of Exodus chapter 12 verse 5 to 13, uh, Yahuwah passed over the life of his people, his chosen race, in the land of Egypt when he brought judgment upon the nation of Egypt. He has to pass over the life of his chosen people while he brings punishment or judgment on the, on the Egyptians. 
Notice what is written in the book of Exodus chapter 12, verse 5 to 13. <clears throat> there is written, Your sheep should be a sound one, should be a sound one-year-old male. You may choose from the young rams or from the goats. So you must care for it until the 14th day of, the month of this month. And the whole congregation of the assembly of Israel must slaughter it at twilight. <clears throat> they must take some of the blood and splash it on the doorsteps and, the, and, at the, and the upper part of the door, doorway of the house in which they eat it. They must eat the meat on, it, on this night. They should roast it over the fire and eat it along with unleavened bread and bitter grains. So do not eat any of it raw or boiled, cooked in water, but roast, but roast it over the fire. It's here together with its shanks and its inner parts. So you must not save any of it until morning, but any of it any of it left over until morning, you should burn with fire. And this is how you should eat it. With your belt fastened, sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you should eat it in a hurry. It is Yahuwah's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt on this night and strike every firstborn in the land of Egypt, from man to beast, and I will execute judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am Yahuwah. The blood will serve as, you, as your sign on the houses where you are, and I will see the blood and pass over you. And the plague will not come, unto you, come on you, to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. <clears throat> so yes, Yahuwah made provision for the for the lamb, provision of a lamb to be sacrificed by his fam each family in exchange for the life of Abraham's descendants in Egypt. And that is when he brought the judgment upon the nation of Egypt. So he made the provision for Israelites, the families of Israelites, to sacrifice a lamb. And they put the blood of the lamb on their doorposts in the house where they, where they, they are. So that they can be passed over when God brought judgment, passed over that night to execute judgment on both man and beast. So again, that brings up about the term or the title, the Lamb of God, that will be sacrificed in exchange for the life of those that God will spare. So when John identified, identified Yahushua as the Lamb of God, he is saying that this one will be sacrificed, his life will be taken in order that many of Israelite descents may be spared. And we are going to find why as we go through this lesson. So yes, Yahuwah made this provision. The Lamb of God is a symbol or of a thing or a person or persons that Yahuwah provided as a sacrifice in order to pass over or exchange for the life of his chosen ones and when he executes judgment. So yes, John identified Yahushua as the Lamb of God. After Israel settled in the Promised Land, Our ancestors, com our ancestors committed an error 
and sins that will bring Yahuwah's judgment upon the descendants of Israel. Yes, they left Yahuwah, the God of Israel, to go and sack and to go and serve the gods of the other nation. And we are still doing that till today, serving the gods given to us by the other nations. And for this, the judgment of God is upon the people of the descendants of Israel. Yes, both two nations, the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom, uh, provoked Yahuwah's anger that Yahuwah will bring his judgment upon the people of Israel. Notice what is written in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 15 to 22. There is written concerning Israel. He said, when Joshua grew fat, he kicked out rebelliously. You have grown fat. You have become stout. You have become bloated. So he forsook God. So you forsook God who made him and despised the rock of his salvation. So they incited him to fury with foreign gods. They were offending him with detestable things. They were sacrificing to demons and not to God. To gods that they had not known. Even new ones that came along recently. To gods that your forefathers did not know. So you forgot the rock who fathered you. And you did not remember the God who made, gave birth to you. So when Yahuwah saw it, he rejected them because his sons and daughters offended him. So he said, I will hide my face from them and I will see what will become of them. For they are a perverse generation, sons in whom there is no faithfulness. So they have incited me to fury with what is not a God. They have offended me with their worthless idols. So I will incite them to jealousy with what is not a people. And I will offend them with a foolish nation. For my anger has kindled a fire that will burn to the depths of the grave. And it will continue consume the earth and its produce and wind will set ablaze the foundations of mountains. So yes, Israel, after God established Israel, our ancestors, the generation that followed, that came after, started to do practice what is detestable things. They started to break the com commandment that God gave to the people of Israel. He told them they should not bow down to any other God. Because Yahuwah required exclusive devotion. But Israel, this, our descendants, our ancestors, they broke the covenant. And because of this, Yahuwah will bring judgment upon all the descendants of Israel. Because he said that his anger will burn to the depth of the grave, and it will consume the earth and its produce. Because of what Israel has done, God will bring a judgment upon all the descendants of Israel, upon the nation of Israel. In fact, it will, this judgment will affect the whole earth because of what Israel have done. So now the question is, how does, how does this judgment 
and the provision of the Lamb of God apply. So because of Israel's error, Yahuwah will bring judgment on all the descendants of Israel, his chosen people. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 15 to 22, there is written, he said, Vengeance is mine and retribution at the appointed time when their foot slips, for the day of their disaster is near. And what awaits them will come quickly. For Yahuwah will judge his people, and he will feel pity for his servants when he sees that their strength has waned, and that only the helpless and the weak remain. So Yahuwah said, because of Israel's error, he is going to bring judgment. Okay? He's going to take vengeance upon the descendants of Israel. For they are leaving him to go and serve the gods of other nations, the gods that are not really real, to serve false gods. So he will bring vengeance upon all the descendants of Israel. <coughs> uh, but he mentioned that he will also feel pity for the people of Israel after judging them or taking vengeance he will, he will come to their aid when only the weak and the helpless ones remain, remain. so in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18 verse, 18 verse 4 there it is written say look all the souls to me they belong as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the sons. To me they belong. The soul who sins is the one who will die. So the consequences of sinning against Yahuwah is the judgment of death, is death. So in this case, all Israel is that is awaiting all the descendants of Israel because of our sinning against our God. In the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23, Apostle Paul put it this way, he said, for the wages sin pays is death. Yes, the result of sin is death. That is the wage that sin pays is death. So since all Israel have sinned, death will pursue all Israel until they are completely they pay, they annihilated because the wage of sin pays or the end result of sin of sinning against God is death. So, yes, the judgment that sin brings is death of the sinner. Oh, since all Israel, we are aware, all Israel, we are aware of this judgment that is coming for all the descendants of Israel at God's appointed time, because Yahuwah said in Deuteronomy 32 that vengeance is his and the appoint, at the appointed time that he will take this vengeance. He will carry out this judgment of death because of the error of all Israel, of leaving him to go and serve other gods. So <clears throat> that is the judgment of God on Israel. And all Israel is aware that this judgment is coming and is going to pursue all Israel according to what is written until all Israel are completely annihilated. 
But before this great day of Yahuwah's judgment will arrive, before this great judgment, Yahuwah's judgment will arrive, notice what is written. Uh, in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 20, it is written, the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and illustrious day of Yahuwah. Yes, it will be a terrible day when Yahuwah carries out this judgment of annihilation or extermination of sinners of Israel. And also, it will extend to the peoples of the nations because he said because of Israel's error his anger will burn to the, gra to the grave and it will consume the earth and its produce so it will be a terrible time or a terrible day when Yahuwah carries out this judgment that he has foretold in the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1, it's written, Yahuwah revealed this. He said, For look, the day is coming, burning like a furnace, when all the presumptuous ones and all those practicing wickedness will become like, a, like stubble. The coming day will certainly devour them, says Yahuwah of armies, and it will leave them neither root nor branch. So Yahuwah said about his day, this day of his judgment, he's coming to take vengeance. It will be a day that all the sinners of Israel will, will be put to death. So that day will leave them with no root and no branch. That means all the descendants of Israel will be exterminated. Yes. He will certainly devour them, says Yahuwah of armies. And it will leave them neither root nor branch to continue. So this is going to be a terrible day, the day of judgment of our God. It will be a terrible day. But before this day will arrive, notice what is written in the book of Malachi chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. This is what Yahuwah said. He said, look, I am sending my messenger and he will clear up the way before me. So Yahuwah said he's going to send his messenger and the messenger will clear up the way before him. And suddenly the true Lord whom you are seeking will come to his temple and the messenger of the covenant will come in whom you take the light said, look, he will certainly come, says Yahuwah of armies. But who will endure the day of his coming? Who will endure? Who will stand? Or who will survive this day when Yahuwah takes, carries out his judgment? Who will endure? And who will be able to stand when he appears? Say, for he will be like, like the fire of a refiner and like the liar of a laundry man. And he will sit as a refiner and cleanser of silver and will cleanse the sons of Levi and he will clarify them like gold and like, and like silver. And they will certainly become to Yahuwah a people representing a people presenting a gift offering in righteousness. So Yahuwah said that this day he's going to come to carry out this judgment. He's, who is going to stand? Because he's going to clean the sons of Levi like a, like a refiner of gold and silver. Yes, gold and silver is refined through fire. So who will stand? Already he said that 
the day we live for sin has no root and no branch. It's going to kill and destroy all the sinners of Israel for leaving him to go and follow after other girl, girls of other nations or false gods that are not real. So this day is going to be what? A terrible day of Yahuwah's judgment. Yes, Yahuwah promised to first he is going to send to Israel his servant. He is going to send a sacrificial lamb a means to save some descendants of Israel from their error and their sins and the judgment of death that is upon them. So before this day will arrive, when Yahuwah will come to carry out these executions that he has said, he said he will first send who? His son to serve as a sacrificial lamb to help Save the life of many Israelite descendants of Israel. And that is what the Messiah, the Lamb of God, came to do to help many to escape this day of judgment because he came to clear up the way before the Most High will come to carry out this execution. Let us take it. A 15 minutes break here uh, and reflect on what we have learned so far about the provision of a sacrificial lamb, the lamb of God, in order to spare the life of many. Uh, after the break, we can then continue again uh, with this presentation. Uh, take a 15 minutes break.